hey, you know, I'm, why should I be competing with all the native speakers? But I don't feel that way anymore. I feel that what I can give to my students is not what native speaker can give to my students. My name is King Kok Chang. Um, in Mandarin would be Zhang Jing Jue. In Cantonese would be Zhang Jing Go. I think I'm the first Asian and surely the first woman of colour in the English department. And I uh, kind of reflect the changing landscape of American studies, especially Asian American studies, is so different now. When I started doing Asian American literature, it's the hardest thing I've ever done because Asian American studies would really look down upon at the time because Asian American have no voice and all that. That was the emergence of the term modern minority. We are good, we study hard, we do not need social welfare, we made it on our own. What's wrong with that? What Frank Chin said is that despite all the oppression, what slavery, the extent that African Americans had to suffer, they never lose they never lose their voice. So he said, what about Asian American? What are we famous for? We are seen as obedient, conformist. So he called that racist love. He said the worst part about racist love is when you yourself conform to that. In other words, when you try to show that the dominant culture is right. I feel that for Asian American literature to be taken seriously, you have to justify why it's literature, right? You know, you cannot say, well, because it tells you a lot about Asian Americans. <laughs> Ethnic studies would buy that, but not my department. What? I ignore what the pressure from the field, namely to just kind of uh, always treat the literature as like a social documentary, as how it reflects racism and all that. And I try to appreciate it as literature.